Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Stellaris, where the fun never stops. Ever. And the death never stops, either. The death never stops. All right, oh, let's get the game going. Uh, so apparently one of my sectors is missing resources. Uh, Saflon. What the fuck is... Why, why did you call it Saflon? It just fucking called itself Saflon. It's because it's not generating any power. I also need to give them some minerals today. Actually, I don't want to give them minerals. Fuck. I just, it just occurred to me that they're like a worthless fucking one. I just want them to eat each other and that's it. Whatever. Alright. Uh, you did it, Mike. Time to restart. GG. Time to restart. Gotta reroll, dude. Well, my fleet is two, uh, 25k now. It's pretty nice. Jesus fucking Christ. What? 25k? Uh, yeah. Ridiculous. What have you been doing this whole time? Mine's only ten. Ah, uh, then again, I am just spitting out ships, so... I, I think I want to maybe kill one of these other drakes or something, but maybe I'll just make a couple more ships before that I make that dream come true. I mean, I have a hundred more fleet capacity, and I'm sitting at 12k, so if you want me to just pump that, I can just pump those numbers up, and then we can just go at him. Because that might be fun. Killing one of the, ed the drakes or whatever. I'm going to make another couple battleships. What do I have currently? My fleet composition is 11 battleships... Some cruisers. Oh wow, I really don't have any destroyers. Uh, yeah, there's some unrest. Pacifist attraction. They're getting eaten and they want pacifism, alright. I mean, they can have whatever they want. Let them eat cake, bruh. Let them eat cake. Bruh. You have to say let them eat cake, bruh. Uh, I don't know. A pet. System I, I, I just want you to say bruh for some reason. But, I've uh, never heard it. Do we? Do we even? Do I look like PewDiePie to you? Yeah, kinda. Kind and of. You're like you're like the Canadian PewDiePie. How's that? Canadian PewDiePie, all right. Actually, I'm gonna go upgrade this science ship because I think it'll give him a better hyperdrive. Uh, what are we up to now? Uh, actually, it won't give him a better hyperdrive. We we only have hyperdrive too. Now, something did occur to me yesterday, Pat. You know those cruisers I got yesterday? Or, sorry, like a couple days ago? It's not even, like, normally... All the specialty ones from that one event? They're stuck on Hyperdrive 1. <laughs> I should separate them from the fleet. I'm, I'm not even joking. And I should just have them follow, because they're slow as fucking balls. <laughs> Fuck. I... That may have... Caused a lot of issues yesterday, actually. I know it's just cruisers, though, but yes, we're gonna split the fleet. So we're gonna create. It's actually kind of sad. They're, like, and you have no way to upgrade them, right? Uh, no, because they're they're something I got. Fuck the f the fleet thing went away. Oh yeah, we also have two observation posts. Um, this is a mechanic I didn't really talk about. Uh, but you can enlighten species, you can indoctrinate them. So this is a uh, basically a pre-FTL civilization. Uh, if you find them in your borders, you can kind of like. Uh, you can kind of try and uplift them. They're basically like, what? What are they at? They're at the industrial age, so they haven't gotten to FTL. But we're we're doing aggressive observation on them, uh, and so we can also indoctrinate them as well, which is uh, which we wouldn't get any society bonuses. What are these guys right now? They're weak. Basically, we're probably just gonna kill them as soon as they become sentient. I'm not. I'm not gonna aww. lie to you. What do you mean, aw? Poor guys, they'll literally never know what bit them. Pretty much, but who cares? That's just it's just me, dude. You, I, you, you gotta at least like let them try to fight. Pat, we're not nice. That's how this works. Ugh, all right, I put all the I, I'm putting all the cruisers in their own uh, uh, thing. I don't want it. I don't. Want, Dude, is a symbol of unity any good anymore? I, I really don't think it is, actually. If it's you like... get the upgrades for it, I got all the upgrades for it, and oh. provides like 8 unity. Oh, okay. Maybe that's not so bad then. I didn't know it upgraded, actually. No. Uh, what's this one? Oh, this is actually a normal. Uh, this is actually a normal cruiser. Ear tab. Oh, fuck. Ships How do I create new fleet? Alright, so these Nomad class battlecruisers, we're gonna just keep them on their own. Okay, and there you go. The, the Grand Railgun should now be hyperspace uh, compatible with just number two. Which is which is a good thing. I, trust me guys, it's a great thing. And I'm also <laughs> gonna take... Uh, 
Yoshi's Island enough for the uh, rally point, just so they go to the fleet. Yeah, there you go. They did not automatically go to the Grand Railgun. Uh, I don't need to see these observation posts. So, I'm just gonna call this fucking the shit fleet. Because they're slower, and they're slowing down the Grand Railgun, you know? And this, the Grand Railgun... So, the Grand Railgun, by the way, Pat, is almost a 20k fleet, but the shit fleet is like a 4.2. They're still pretty strong, Jesus. though. Yeah. Which means I need more cruisers now. Uh, let's have a look here. I hope that sector finishes eating people soon, but yeah. Symbol of unity, alright. Ah, oh, we can do atmospheric manipulation or habitability plus five percent. Yeah, I'll do the habitability actually. I don't, I don't really feel the need that that this game is going to be about terraforming at all, to be honest. You know? Mm, but not for me, at least. Uh, hey. Oh, hey, uh, uh, here's something great. Uh, several objection teams stationed at the observation post of Von Larup uh, have apparently been using their thrusters and their shuttles to burn large circles and complex patterns into, <laughs> into crop fields <laughs> belonging to the primitive Be Bethurians that are uh, indigenous to the planet. The shuttle crews have been <laughs> severely reprimanded for this prank, but the crop circles appear to have taken on some sort of religious significance for the natives. <laughs> a, a new religion is formed based upon these patterns and is gaining popularity along the Bethurians uh, at alarming rate. Oh, uh, that's fucking funny. That's literally the greatest thing ever. I, you I, are, Mike, Mike, you are the fucking ALMAOs. Yeah, holy shit. That's that's too good. Um, I, I actually want to mention something for you guys. So... Uh, so it's, it's this planet. So the way it works is, um, so you actually saw there's, there's three settings. So there's passive observation, there's aggressive observation, indoctrination, technological enlightenment, covert infiltration. They all have different things. Basically passive means, uh, since I'm doing aggressive, things like that will happen where you're going to, uh, impact the species on the planet. Uh, passive means you won't affect them at all. Uh, but you like, you gain double the bonuses, who fucking cares. Indoctrination means you're going to switch their ethics to yours if they don't have... Because you can actually see their ethics right now. Complete. Which means they're more compatible with your species when they're done. Technological enlightenment means you rush them to the space age. And covert infiltration means you annex them and rush them to the uh, the space age, essentially. And I th yeah, it says it needs gene tailoring. It will give natives a large but temporary happiness boost as well, it says there. Uh, so, that, so since I'm doing aggressive, yeah, so things like that will happen, and the, the really funny thing, the funniest thing that, that can happen with that is you will create XCOM, you, they will, they will do XCOM, they will XCOM you actually, cause, cause you're, um, aggressively, uh, uh, researching them, they're like, fuck, there's aliens, and they, they create XCOM, it's fucking great. That does actually sound pretty fucking great. That is the best, like, result I've ever seen for that kind of shit. It's it's actually it's the it was the funniest thing the first time it happened to me. I loved it. Where are all these other science ships? Okay, they're over here. I want them to research these planets. Where's this guy? Yeah, he needs to come down here. Yeah, maybe not that planet. Good. I'm not. I'm gonna remove their automatic thing. So yeah, you can. <laughs> I, I like the I like the humor of this game kind of thing. It's got it's got its own charm to it. Fucking X. It, it, it takes itself very seriously, but it doesn't. And that's beautiful. Oh wait, what the fuck? Wait wait wait, what the fuck? One second. What? Uh, two of my science ships just are in combat right now. Where is he? It says, we have encountered some kind of vast space entity nearby. They only exist partially inside the universe. The bulk of the creature is still trapped within the nightmare ro nightmarish realm it spawned from. Oh, it's the, um... God, I don't even know what to call that. It looks like, it looks like Alien from the Alien vs. Predator movies. Well, they fucking died. Dimensional horror, that's what it was. Yeah, it's up there in 10x thing. I thought I I thought I showed you that. It's in uh, your zone. I didn't fucking know I that. I showed it to you yesterday. Well, I just what? fed it to fucking science vessels. Yeah, that thing's really, really strong. It uh, instantly killed that. them, Pat. It, of course it's really fucking strong. 
Uh, it, it, it's the only one that has, like, in its entire region, it can attack anything in it. Yeah. Uh, also, we got Fleet Academies, guys, which means now ships will have 5% additional chance to hit and tracking and things like that, which is good. Uh, a little bit late on the on the, on the the re- thing for that, but whatever. What are you going to do? Call it a docket, Mike. A docket, yeah, exactly. Ooh, Giga Cannon? Fuck yeah, I'll have to get a Giga Cannon. <laughs> Fucking Digimon. <laughs> Digimon? Yeah, Giga Cannon! Did you never watch Digimon? No, I didn't. Don't watch fucking children's TV shows, Pat. Ow. Ow. I'm, I'm a mature ow. adult. Well, you say that. <laughs> I like to think I am. Okay. As long as you're trying to think. I got that. <laughs> as long as I'm trying to think. Did you watch Mag- Magic School Bus? I'm pretty sure that was better than D- D- Digimon. Dude, I told... Dude, they came... They, they were literally back to back. You had, like, Magic School Bus, and then you had that Kirby anime, System which service. was really cool, by the way. Then you had Digimon. Dude, my favorite my favorite episode of Magic School Bus was when they like went into the human body. They went into like someone's like fucking bended cut. And Miss Frizzle, Miss Frizzle was like shit, yo. We're going in, and then and then they went in. I, I think me and you watched very different versions of the Magic School Bus. Uh, we probably did. But you know, it, that that's sometimes how it works. Okay, what the fuck kind of way is this? Oh, it's because it's there's like an other Drake there. That's why. Wow, I want to kill that other Drake, Pat. Uh, my fleet's almost at twenty five thousand, so I can come pop in and help you. All right. Well, we might want to ask the curators about it. To be honest, uh... I'm pretty sure the other Drake doesn't have shields, and it's all armor. So weapons that do a lot of damage against armor is what we're going to need to focus on. Especially to things that can break armor. Yeah, I got rail guns. Uh, and that's it. And that's I'm, it. I, I'm working on giga cannons, okay? Let me just fucking. Giga cannon. Giga cannons. Which ignores 50% of armor, so you know what? You know, let's wait for that to come in. And, th- and then uh, we'll be. And then we'll go kick him in his space tits. Yeah. Also, I'm having like a major issue with uh, power for some reason. I'm thinking of making an edict now. Oh, oh, wait, oh, yes, here we go. Here we go, Pat. It's oh, no. fucking time. It's uh, in an apparent response to our operations on the primitive world. Many of the, uh, whatever, Banturian nation states on LARPA have momentarily put aside the squabbling to form a new uh, s- s- uh, a national military organization. According to the local media, this task force has been charged with defending the planet from hostile activities perpetrated by an unknown alien agency God damn it. against the species as a whole. Oh, shit, son. You literally fucked with them enough to make them do XCOM. Are you proud of yourself? I am completely proud of myself. You should be. This is like the best thing I've ever done. Uh... Fucking XCOM. I was just talking about it too. Oh, dude, Spark of Genius. Another Spark of Genius. Uh, I think I want to have it on this one. You can unpause the game now. Oh, did, did I do that? Fuck. Yeah, you did. Okay, fine. Go and pause it then. Research complete. Capacitor fields. Uh, do capacitor fields do anything? Not really, I think. I think I'd rather have advanced combat rolls. Fuck is a capacitor field. It's that it gives like energy regeneration. Oh shit, we got hyperdrive three. Damn. Fuck. I don't want to fucking. Whatever. I'll just I'll let him do that. All right. Let's just, let's just upgrade that shit, and then I'll put that guy in here because I don't care. Uh, let's have a look here. Well, these are fucking completely unreachable for me. Oh yeah, I can't even reach them. Fuck. What is it? Oh, uh, I can't. I can't reach some systems now because the red guy closes borders. Can I declare war on him? Fuck this guy. Fuck, I can't. Yeah, the orange guy just closed borders with me. So, eh. Ships upgraded. No, right. I'm not too mad. I'm just entirely fucking livid. <laughs> you can't be that mad. You bought me chili dogs, Pat. You can't be too mad. That mad. Too mad. Fucking love that, dude. Don't remind me of that. I'm gonna have to go listen to it after this. 
Oh, shit. Is there any special products? No. We have literally no special products. This is like one of the only times in this game I think I've ever had like zero pro special projects. Are we almost done eating these people? How much more time do they need? Pop is being systematically killed off. It'll complete by 2310. Fucking hell. I've, I, don't worry, I got 5,000 food though, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I'll Dude, this how... guy kicked out my Tumblr drones. I'm kind of sad. They're Tumblr drones? Yeah, that's the name of my science ships. Trust me, the irony is not lost on me. Oh, dude, this is actually an excellent planet for me to go onto. Maybe I should just, like, invade their world, actually. Can you just plop just down, like, a, a, a ship Armies? and then take it? No, I can, I can plop... I mean, it's giving me science research now, actually, so you know what? We'll, 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 we'll maintain that, because it's actually, it's giving me six, which is not actually a lot when you think about it. But also, I like how this induction is going. Implant modif... Uh, <laughs> implant malfunctions. Uh, as a part of our observation port uh, efforts on LARPA, uh, abduction teams have surgically installed brain implants in a number of test subjects to track them and monitor their behavior. Uh, due to a malfunctioning flaw in these implants, uh, they're now having an adverse effect on the behavior of the subjects. Uh, they've been the number of suicides and at least three episodes of violent hysteria, uh, hysteria. The staff of our observation post have asked, asked and help in rounding up the remaining subjects and removing their implants before it causes more in updated. incidents. Alright, I think it's, uh... It's a science ship has to do it. Alright. Just research that first. Rip in pieces. No wonder they formed XCOM. Suddenly, suddenly nobody's surprised anymore. I mean, you, you are literally fucking with their brains. Ooh, what do I get? Galactic Stock Exchange? Yeah, fucking Galactic Stock Exchange. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We need the Galactic Stock Exchange for more energy credits. And I I'm, I'm really shouldn't be making all these stations here, because uh, th these borders are gonna change rapidly in, in, uh, in 2310, so... I'm actually trying not to. What's the place? What's the deal with this place? Oh, dude, we can upgrade it to planetary administration. Special project complete. Well, at least we got we got some uh, society research gain because we removed the implants. Uh, where's the actual? Oh, here he is. Oh, what the hell? Heritage site? Oh, I made a symbol of unity. That's what I was doing. I need a... Where's a good food tile? Ah, this is a good food tile. Make a frontier clinic here. Unfortunately, they made their fucking... Their, their planetary administration on, on, like, the worst place ever. Can I can I remake that, actually? I, I think you can, but I'm just... I'm too lazy. Fuck it. I'll just keep it the way it is. System Nobody tells Mike Lott what to do. I do. Uh, All do the you? fucking time. Well, what do you want to tell me what to do, Pat? I want to tell you that I'm going to kill this guy, and then we'll go kill your guy. Okay. You can fucking try. I can fucking do it, too. Yeah, dude, there's like two planets here. And like two good planets here, too. The system kicks balls. Holy shit. I love this fucking it system. It kicks balls. It does. Don't you dare question my English. Alright, so you want to go kill an other Drake soon? Yeah, I'm just going to war this guy first. Okay, so not this episode? Uh, no, it's just a little guy, don't worry. Just just a little guy, alright. When, when you're done that, then we'll go fucking murder his ass. That sounds good to me. So what are my battleships at? So battleships are not using carrier core right now. Which is probably for the best. I have just a lot of weapons on them. Uh, I think some of my cruisers had carrier core on them, but I guess they don't anymore. System survey. I wouldn't mind having carrier core now, but maybe it's just better just to have a lot of guns. No, we need we need carrier core on some of them. So carrier core is essentially it will allow me to. So either on the battleships or something else, probably on the carriers actually. Sorry, cruisers, carriers. Uh, they only have one hangar slot, but they have two-point defense slots. 
But what I'm giving up is a three medium slots, which is fine. You know what? That's okay with me. So we give it all of that. And apparently it wants to put in bomber wings, but I think maybe fighter wings would be better. The difference is um, how often they attack. I almost Ignores feel 50 bad, actually. Of armor. Actually, no, bomber wings are better. So we do that. Oh yeah, and I also have to I have to delete the old cruiser so that can, they can all upgrade. Actually, no, they're, it's fine. It still automatically generates uh, plans, but yeah. Why do you almost feel bad? Because you're killing some guy? As, as soon as I declared war on him, everybody just starts sending me messages. But why are you doing this? But why? Please fucking, don't do this. You're fucking hive mind. Yeah, I know, but I, I, they're almost making us feel bad. Who is eating all my fucking energy? I actually got more energy after I joined this uh, war, so I don't know, man. I, I need to, like, get energy from somewhere. I don't know where. It's building maintenance. Building maintenance is uh, 124. Station maintenance is 144. What the fuck? On rest, keeping the peace. Uh, here, here we go. And it, uh, the, the the same plan. The alien uh, anti-alien task force. In an apparent response to our operations on, on their primitive world, many of the Zelvian nation states on Bagura and whatever the fuck have momentarily put us. Oh, this is this is another fucking planet. Man, you're gonna oh, get dude, like a universal so. XCOM going, you know that, right? Yeah, you, <laughs> there really should be for us, <laughs> let's be honest. So these guys want XCOM now. Uh, advanced combat rules. Oh, Guardian Point Defense? Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Holy shit, that's a fucking huge research. Complete. Literally huge, Pat. How oh, huge! All right, let's look at our expansion planner because I want to see if there's any planets with some neat modifiers. So what we're going to do is we're going to or order it by habitability for our species, the Yoshis. And... I mean, there's two Gaia... Uh, no, these are tropical worlds. They're not even Gaia worlds. Okay. They're actually not... Uh, there's no real good energy planets, so we can, what we can do instead is we can sort it by energy. Uh, there's an ocean world right here. If I wanted to, I could take that one, but that's like not near any of my territory. And Pat has the rest of them. Oh, there's actually one right here. It's actually a pretty nice one right here. I could take that, and I have actually a core world I could I could use with it. So it's definitely some that's some, definitely something. I'll tell you that much. Well, it's, a, it's a thing, Mike. Is what you're saying. All right. Uh, right as, uh Reconnaissance footage taken by our observation post of Punch uh, above LARPA has confirmed the construction of several new military bases and radar facilities on the planet's surface, all under the control of the supernatural alien anti-alien task force re recently founded. Uh, we are seeing an unprecedented level of cooperation between their nation states, and abduction fli uh, flights have now been routinely intercepted by atmospheric fighters belonging to this force. Despite our technological edge, their, their sheer numbers have enabled them to bring down several of our abdu abduction shuttles. <laughs> Fucking Q and uh, XCOM interceptor music. Construction complete. Ah, uh, it's fucking glorious. Alright, I'm gonna make a, another shuttle so I can make another planet with um, energy since that seems to be a large issue for me right now. Uh, don't ask me why it's a large issue, it just kind of is. Where's, uh, so, there's one other planet I have in that sector that I could, that's kind of nice, but we'll see when that, when we're done eating everything there, which is going to happen in two years. Galactic Stock Exchange, here we go. That's going to help out a lot. We can get another habitability bonus, which would be nice. Uh, we don't want to uplift anybody because we don't really care about that. Uh, so, how long is that going to take? 45 months. That's actually not so bad. Why do my transport fleets move faster than my actual, like, attacking fleets? I don't know, because you're casual, I guess. Thank you, Mike. Yeah, no problem. Anytime I can help with my advice. Oh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Alright, what we're going to do... Oh, shit. There's a... Someone got vassal vassalized. Alright, Galactic Stock Exchange, guys. The fucking Galactic Stock Exchange. 
Uh, let's have a look here. Like I, I don't know how much I should build into this, and I don't, I don't think I should build into this at all at the moment. So we're gonna just leave it be for the time being. So did you eat him yet? Uh, having a bit of trouble because the guy that I'm trying to fight was getting fought by somebody else, and now I can't take what I wanted to take. Uh, it's oh all wait. Fucked. Holy shit! A new presence in the in the in the shroud. A change of co has come over the li uh, the living in our empire. It has started with a faint ripple in the shroud. Now they are vibrating on a different level. We can all feel it. We are on the verge of developing latent psionic abilities similar to our own. Maybe it's uh, living in uh, such pro close proximity to us. Uh, maybe it's the shroud has simply chosen them. The conclave of Telfast, our chief psionic experts, warn us that this may be our only chance to intervene. We could n nip it in the bud and help them awaken. So it's basically all of my, my pops will gain latent psionic. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll do that. All right, I did it. But like, it's just like, no, it's not really. I guess every no, yeah, all pops, but not my slaves. Yeah, just all my pops became psionic now. Yeah, they're just they're just completely psionic now. Interesting. They gain bonuses and shit, so that's nice. What are my living standards? Social welfare. Oh, welfare. That's good. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like, there's positively no way communing with creatures from outside of our like dimensional realm could end badly. Because <laughs> well, that's what know. it really sounds like you're doing. You know, you know. You know what? Fuck you, Pat. We're psychic. I feel like we, I played like six or seven different video games about this specific like topic, and it never goes well. You know what? I think you're being negative. I'm being a total negative, Nancy. Fuck. What, what was the other planet I saw that was actually pretty high in energy? Where's the uh, expansion planner? So for the Yoshis... Actually, I want to order by this. Fuck, that, that planet's gone. Wow. Construction complete. Well, we just rusted pieces, did. Apparently Patriarchal is like the best planet now for us to... And it's not even that much power, actually. Or is that... E no, no, it's the other one. Oh, that's actually not so bad. Yeah, there's like no tile blockers or anything there. You have a planet called pa Patriarchal and I'm, t I'm taking it. Are you serious? Or, or a colony. Well, you have you. It's not in your borders right now. Wait, what? This Where? A, this has a shit ton of minerals too. Fuck. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm talking about stupid shit, Pat. Okay, this has to be. This has to be minerals planet. System There's no question about that. Complete. Fuck. Wait, how did you take patriarchal? I had a colony. That what happened to my colony? Yeah, what ha what did happen to your colony? Wait. But you had a colony there. Which one? Which planet was it? I. They're they're both not for you. It was on a tropical. It was on the tropical world in there. How did you go to the tropical world if you're not if you're uh, Arctic? That's a really good question. I I guess it. Did you terraform it or some shit? I... <laughs> uh. I never even noticed I lost it, first off, so that's a good sign. Well, I, I just told you now you did. Oh, well. Yeah, it was one of those planets, you fucking... Dude, I don't care. Whatever, you own it now. Yeah, I just, like, it has, like, a shit ton of minerals, so I was just gonna take that, actually. But now, like, now I want a fucking planet with power in it, so... <laughs> What'd you get for putting all your eggs in two baskets? Yeah, fucking eggs in something kind of baskets. Eggs Fuck, should, my dick. should I just take uh, this guy's no, planet? I, I might just take the fucking primitive world, actually. God damn it! I don't know what to do now. Cause okay, listen, I'm I'm dr I'm fucking bleeding energy right now. Okay. Just kind of what's happening right now. And I wish I could see Cephalon's. Okay, Cephalon has. Okay, Cephalon can easily be a power planet actually, and even even has like a lot of slots here. So that's I think what we're gonna use it for. Yeah. Okay. You know what? This colony ship, I think, will actually become uh, on the page uh, on this planet. It'll make a mineral planet. 
That's how we're going to do it. And I'm thinking of putting it down here just because it already has two energy slots. Even Fair though enough. we're going to miss something down there, but fuck. Actually, no, maybe I should just do it here. Yeah, I'm going to do it there. So we're going to call it minerals too. All right, let's unpause it. Oh, fuck. Because I, I have more core worlds I can, I can inhabit, and I'm just killing all these plants, so it's all good. Are you done yet? Can we fucking kill that thing yet? Uh, I, I got dragged into a second fight with another person, and my, all my fleets are acting all retarded, so... Your fleets are acting all retarded? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know, I guess we're gonna leave it off there, guys, so, um, maybe next time we'll take another drink. Oh. Uh, take care, everyone. Bye.